ordinarily, I'm not the biggest fan of Rugrats episodes that primarily take place in the imagination of the babies, but the jungle is so nostalgic for me that I can't help but love it. This is the first segment of the 12th episode of the sixth season of Rugrats, and the babies and the adults are at a garden centre, and the babies think that Dill has jungle fever. And he's covered in these blotches and it's very well animated and the babies then have to try and save dill and the majority of this is set in their imagination as we see their imaginative play come to life i love the outfits they're wearing i love the way they interact with different things for example the shopping trolleys or the the carts on wheels that the plants are on to use a technical definition becomes you know vehicles and things within their mind their imagination and as I said, I don't normally love that, but it's so nostalgic for me that I can't I can't really judge it, judge it with a fresh perspective. But I do think that they interacted with things in a way that was very effective and it was very easy to see how they could envision things as a jungle. I think the setting is wonderful. This could have been set in, you know, a park or somebody's garden, but having it in a garden centre, I just thought was a, a really great idea and I love garden centres. I'm not a big plant person. Horticulture is not a pastime of mine. But I, there's just something about garden centres, maybe because it does kind of feel like you're in a mini jungle. I just, I think they're brilliant. And this is exactly what we get here. The, the costumes were great. The adventure story was great. Phil and Lil, particularly Phil, I thought they were brilliant and brought a lot of comedy to this. And I loved seeing the bit where Dee Dee, they imagine Dee Dee is dressed as a nurse. I thought that was a really nice touch. Just the whole thing from start to finish is very, very well done. Great music to go with it. Really great pacing. Love the setting. Love the animation. I guess I am kind of biased because I have such fond memories of this episode from my childhood. So I can't really judge it with a completely fresh perspective. But even with that in mind, I think it's got a, as I said, a good pacing. It's a nice narrative um, and seeing their imagination come to life, I think it's well done. It also cuts back and forth between the imagination and the real world. Enough that we can see how they're imagining certain things. So I thought that was pretty good. Quite funny as well. Definitely one of my favourite episodes. The Jungle is pretty great.